Ben, we got our first win of the season uh, last week in Stewsbury. What are your views on the performance and the results? Well, a terrible first half, to be uh, brutally honest. But um, I thought we showed a bit of character. Second half, we had this purple patch. We came back into the game and uh, kind of got them on the ropes a little bit and capitalised. Uh, and then obviously managed to sneak it at the end. So. A win to win, uh, I think Fordy said it uh, in his post-game press conference, just to get two points on the board is important, but obviously we've got plenty to, uh, to fix up for this week. Your next appearance, according to our rugby league guru Gav Wilson, is set to be your 350th career appearance. Um, what are your thoughts on reaching that landmark? Well, it's gone fast, it's gone very fast. Uh, but obviously proud, uh, play, uh, a lot of pride in, in reaching 350. Uh, here's to 400. But now, um, in all seriousness, mate, I, you know, I, I never really, at the age of 17, coming out of uh, uh, college, dropping out of college and going off to the army, I never envisaged having to uh, achieve what I've kind of achieved. So I'm, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, and uh, like I said, very proud, mate. Um, at the moment, you're playing standoff regularly, now in what is a pretty new role for you. Obviously, you played there last season quite a bit. Are you enjoying that sort of role, as opposed to being in the back, being in like on the yeah, three quarter yeah. line? It gives me more opportunity to be bossy to people, you know. So, <laughs> but uh, no, I played standoff as a kid, I played half back as a kid. I probably never had the natural uh, ability in terms of uh, skill set when I was young enough to come through as a, as a, as a half back into the academy ranks or whatever. I think that's maybe why I slipped under the radar. Um, but yeah, since last year, since I got in the half-back position, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it does give me an opportunity to get involved a bit more and, and help organise. And I think having the experience that I've got of the 350 games, um, I think it's, a, uh, it's good for the team. I think I contribute quite well in that department. You mentioned there helping players out and directing people about. There are a fair few younger faces in the squad at the minute, and you are uh, one of the most experienced. <laughs> Put it politely. Yeah. Fordy recently remarked to me that people like yourself have sort of helped the younger players along. Is that something you enjoy as your role as an elder statesman of the squad? Yeah, massively. I mean, we, we, we have got a relatively young squad. I mean, Fordy did something at the beginning of this year with all the players down and their age. And I think it was me, Fordy, Tim, uh, me, uh, Horny, Tim Spears were the only ones above 30. Uh, and the rest were kind of, I think the average age were about 25. So, um, so yeah, it, it's nice for. Uh, to be able to pass on a few experiences and help the younger fellas and um, try and lead the way I suppose, you know, coming through my career I always looked up to the elder players and see what they were doing in terms of the training and you know what they were eating and stuff like that. It took me a while to kind of get to grips with what you had to do as a professional uh, but you know the last six, seven years in particular of my career have been a uh, solid professional uh, player I think, or I'd like to think I have. And now I like to uh, try and give back to the young fellas who are trying to make a name for themselves. Just to look forward to this Sunday now then, uh, playing Barrow Raiders at home, Boogan Crescent, 3pm kickoff. What sort of challenge are you expecting from uh, the Cumbrians? Physical, as always, with the Cumbrian side. Uh, I know Josh Johnson has just signed for them from, from Hulk a good mate of mine is John. I wish we could have maybe got him down here. You know, he's got the uh, the grunt that you like from a front row, or certainly what I like from a front row. Other than that, mate, yeah, they're, they're a solid team. They've been in and around that level championship for a number of years now. Uh, always performed, you know, well, and we just expect a tough test. We we expect a tough test every week, but you know, our Cumbrian side, big physical side, who will know that will try and challenge us around the middle. I believe we've got some PNG guys as well, so I'm sure that's going to add some uh, some punch to their uh, go forward. So it's going to be another challenge, mate, but we're looking forward to it and hopefully we can get another two points. Cheers, Ben. Cheers.